In 2023, a movie named Sound of Freedom was released and the very first scene set the tone with a harrowing reality. The chilling introduction plunged viewers into the heart of the film's mission to expose the sinister world of human trafficking. The movie was disturbing, emotional and painful, yet it ended with a powerful social message. It was one of the most moving movies I saw in 2023. And a similar sentiment will arise when you watch Bhumi Petnikar's latest film, Bhakshak, which has been released on Netflix. From its very first scene, the film confronts you with the brutal reality of a girl's assault. It's a scene that will leave you feeling outraged, disgusted and desperate for justice. From the railwayman to Killer Soup and now Bhakshak, Netflix continues its streak of delivering gripping narratives inspired by real-life events. Produced by Red Chilies Entertainment, the film takes inspiration from the 2020 Muzaffar Women's Shelter case, aiming to shed light on sexual abuse in India. In my trailer review video, I highlighted that if you are drawn to David vs. Goliath kind of narratives, Hakshak is right up your alley. But beyond that, if you appreciate authentic storytelling, enriched by compelling acting and underlined by a profound social message, then Bhakshak is an absolute must-see. Humi Petnagar plays the role of an independent journalist accompanied by Sanjay Mishra, her cameraman and reliable ally. The channel doesn't have many viewers, they don't have a lot of reach and amidst all the challenges they are facing, Humi stumbles upon a social audit report exposing the abuse within a woman's shelter home. From that moment on, the quest for truth and justice unfolds. As Vaishali, portrayed by Bhumi's character, gets her hands on the report, the narrative intensifies, revealing key players behind the abuse piece by piece. Audiences are confronted with a stark portrayal of societal callousness, allowing predators to roam freely while silencing their helpless victims. The system itself seems complicit, offering little recourse for the innocent. All signs point to the despicable Bansi Sahu, portrayed by Aditya Srivastava, who oversees the shelter alongside a sinister trio an exploitive women warden and a pair of ruthless enforcers who maintain control and dispose of any inconvenient evidence. These details echo real-life events, underscoring the gravity of the situation. While a senior female officer portrayed by Tamankar offers assistance, her support only stretches so far, leaving Vaishali to shoulder all the bulk of the investigation by herself. As expected, Bhumi's portrayal is a cornerstone of the film, challenging stereotypes and sparking crucial conversations. While she has delivered stellar performances in the past, Bhakshak showcases her at her absolute best. Embodying the fearless spirit of a small-scale investigative journalist, Bhumi brings clarity and depth to every scene, conveying a palpable sense of anguish through her expressive eyes. Her on-screen presence, particularly during moments in front of the camera, highlights the breadth of her acting prowess. Special kudos to her diction coach, whose efforts ensured authenticity in her dialogue delivery and accent, enhancing the overall impact of her performance. Aditya Srivastava, best known for his role as Inspector Abhijit in India's longest-running TV show, CID, plays the role of Bansi Sahu, brings a palpable weight to the character, infusing each scene with an unsettling tension. There was a constant sense of foreboding, a chilling atmosphere whenever he appeared on the screen, effortlessly commanding attention without so much a gesture. A special mention goes to the versatile Sanjay Mishra, whose roots in Bihar lent authenticity to his portrayal. While Bhumi and Aditya anchored the narrative, Sanjay effortlessly carved his own space, infusing the film with cheeky delight and organic humour. Director and co-writer Pulkit, renowned for the acclaimed TV series Both Dead or Alive, featuring Rajkumar Rao, brings forth a narrative that is mostly engaging but drags in some parts. Some of the cuts blend nicely with the story, but some steer away, questioning if they were really needed. The film delves into Vaishali's personal struggles, shedding light on the challenges women face in balancing family and personal aspirations. While this aspect adds depth to the narrative, certain segments, particularly those involving her brother-in-law, could have been trimmed to maintain audience engagement throughout. Bhumi Pednikar's monologue in the climax is reminiscent of Shah Rukh Khan's iconic speech in Jawan coincidentally produced by the same production house behind this film. Like Jawan, Bhumi's impassioned monologue provokes introspection, blending sarcasm and dark humour to deliver a clear message that leaves audiences pondering their role in societal change. Overall, Bhakshak earns our recommendation. Whether through the plight of the victims, compelling performances or nuanced storytelling, the film will resonate with viewers on multiple levels. That wraps up our review of Bhakshak. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So please keep the conversation alive. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss a video from us. You can also follow us on Instagram and X. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to explore more content from our channel on the next screen. Until next time, have a nice day and take care.